Hi there. I've always said that using an Orbis to take cool photos is as easy as one, two, three. It's a really simple process. One, set up your flash to fire off camera. Two, put the Orbis on your flash and bring it up in front of the lens. And three, hit that shutter and you're away. Beautiful shadowless photos easily anywhere, every time. So this video is going to tell you one of the ways to get your flash off camera. That's step one of the process. Now there are quite a few ways to do this. You can use Nikon's Creative Lighting System, or CLS as it's commonly known. Uh, Canon have an infrared based system. Um, Sony and Olympus have their own systems. You can use an off-camera cord, pocket wizards, other radio slaves. You've got quite a few options. But one of the coolest ways to do it is using Nikon CLS system, Creative Light. So what you need to do is have a compatible camera and flash. Here I'm using a Nikon D90 and an SB800. And the D90 can fire the SB800 or SB900 wirelessly actually using the pop-up flash, so you don't need anything else. Have a look in your manual or spend a bit of time on the internet. What you might need to do is actually use a second flash on the hot shoe to act as the controller or to get something called an SU800. It just depends. But once I've shown you how to do it with this kit, then you'll find that it's pretty simple to, to use on your own camera. So as you can see, I've got it set up here, and I'm just going to walk you through the process of how to get it working. So here goes. I've got my flash on the hot shoe. Now again, I'm using an SB800 here and a Nikon D90. So what you do first up is you take your flash off the hot shoe. I'm going to put my camera down over here. Now on an SB800, to access the special menu you need, uh, you hold down the select button. So here we go, and that takes you, if you press and hold it, that takes you into a range of, of menus that look like this. So you want to find the one with the little logo on it, which kind of looks like that, two flashes with some lines. Now to get into the options, you hold the select button down again. Oh, and I've just turned the menu off. I'm going to keep go back in. There we go. So you hold the menu down until you get the little up and down arrow just here, and you want to put it down to remote. So there we go. Just to log that, I then hit select again, hold it down, and then you can see from what it says here, we've got it on remote. You want to set it on channel 1 and group A, but it'll be on that as a default anyway. So next up, we're going to grab our camera, and I'll show you how to set the camera up. So here we go. As I said, I'm using a Nikon D90, and I'm just going to quickly walk you through the menus and show you how to set it up. So we press menu. And you want to make sure that whatever menu you're in over here, you find the custom setting menu. And then you hit the little right arrow and you go into bracketing flash. OK. Down to flash control for built in flash. That's option E2. I'm going to hit OK. And as it comes, it'll be set on TTL. So what we want to do is just go down to commander mode. That little right arrow there means that I don't press OK. I hit the right button. And here we're in. So what I want to do is, is I don't want the pop-up flash having any effect on my exposure. So what we do is if you go up and down, you see what I'm doing is cycling that flash through various options, manual, TTL, but I want to leave it on nothing, on those two little lines. That, that's telling the camera just don't, uh, don't, don't involve that built-in flash in any way in the exposure. So now down to group A. Group A signifies the off-camera flash that I'm going to be using. Now to make it really easy for myself, you can have it on manual if you really want to, but I'm going to make my life really easy. I'm going to put it on TTL. There we go, and everything else we leave unchanged. We're going to leave group B on nothing, because hey, I'm only using one flash, and I'm going to leave channel on one, and then make sure when you set this up that you press the OK button to register that in the camera. And there you are, you're good to go. You can also see a little asterisk just above E2, and that means that you've actually engaged an option within E2. It's just a little aside, you don't need to worry about it too much for the moment. So there we go, now a little half to press of the shutter button, and the camera is ready to go. Great, so that's how you set up your Nikon system so that your flash can fire wirelessly off camera. But of course, the only problem that you're really having to deal with are those harsh shadows that you always get when you're using a small flash. And that's where the Orbis comes in. The Orbis redirects the harsh light from your SLR flash into a ring flash for beautiful shadowless photos anywhere, every time. Cool.
cool.